What's up? Tyler from Plugged On. I'm here with an album review. I'm going to talk about Berserker from Amon Marth. It's good to be back. I know it's been about, I believe, about two weeks since we posted anything. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a married man now, and then I, you know, had, had some vacation that went on. So, again, you know, good to recharge, and uh, I'm excited to be back to talk about a lot of uh, very cool albums that have come out recently and I'm probably going to have to go back a, a little bit here and and go over some albums that uh, I missed that I still want to talk about like Allegiant, Grand Magus, all that stuff um, but today we're going to talk about a berserker from Amon Mars their 11th studio album came out of Metal Blade Records the follow up to Yom's Viking from 2016 uh, Amon Mars, you know they, they've been around for a long time now and you know I viking themed melodic death metal band i love these guys i i think you know they they're definitely in their uh one of those bands a lot like maybe slayer um acdc something like that where uh they, they kind of have their their lane they have their sound and they kind of stay within that but to me i feel like they've been delivering on some quality material um not every album is perfect from these guys but th there's always enough bangers on there that uh it really uh, at least keeps me excited for what's always around the corner from these guys personally um so i personally uh enjoy this album a lot i, I is it better than Yams Viking? I'm not sure. Yams Viking has grown on me a lot, especially some of the uh, lesser known songs A Dream That Cannot Be, um, On a Sea of Blood, uh, Vengeance Is My Name, At Dawn's First Light. Like those sort of songs, they've grown on me a lot recently. Um, so I don't know if it's better than that, but I'd say it's pretty. Uh, on on par with their most recent album, um, I absolutely think it's better than Deceiver of the Gods. So potentially their best album since Sir to Rising. I love Sir to Rising. I don't know if it's better than that, but uh, starts off with Fafnir's Gold, which I think is a really great song with a super catchy, just classic Amon Amarth riffs. And there's some really just amazing riffs all across the board throughout this whole album. And, and uh, that that riff and that chorus have gotten stuck in my head so many times since. Since this album came out, it's kind of a classic Amon Amarth song. I think it's a great opening to a set, um, you know, on, on their on a headlining show or something. Um, but then it gets into my personal favorite song, and that's Crack the Sky, the second single that they released. Uh, Crack the Sky does what I always love Amon Amarth the most for, is that when they just get fucking groovy and heavy at the same time, um, you know. Uh, Pursuit of the Vikings is one of their most popular songs. Why? It's got that heaviness, that crunch to it, and that groove to it. Crack the Sky brings that. Uh, I would say my only little tiny nitpick with Crack the Sky is I wish uh, they kept the intro going a little bit more. So, you know, the, the song starts off just one guitar playing, then bam, the whole band kicks in with a really heavy, heavy rhythm. I wish they would have just kept it going just just a little bit more because it's just it's so amazing every time it happens uh then you know the guitar work during uh the verses i think is really great uh, really catchy uh and then the, the, the whole thing's just phenomenal it's i think it's it's a classic amount of art song and it's it's one that i can see them playing for years and years and years to come um and it's definitely the strongest song on the album to me um mjolnir hammer of thor what great timing with um, with a movie that's out, a very popular movie that I'm sure everybody has seen. Uh, that's a really fun one uh, with just a really upbeat, uh, kind of positive feeling riff. Uh, Shield Wall has a very uh, kind of badass Amon Amarth intro that they've done a million times before. That's what I'm saying. This this album does not reinvent Amon Amarth, but I think it has just enough there in almost every single song to keep you hooked. Uh, but Shield Wall, man, that's a great, great start. And then it kind of, it goes, and there's a few tracks on here that honestly go in directions that I uh, would not have guessed that Amon Amarth would go. Um, it's not really reinventing them, but it, it's definitely like, oh, that change of tempo or that clean section, I wasn't expecting that. That's not very typical. Um, and it, it's good to see them, you know, still kind of experimenting within their realm. I think more of that is what Amon Amarth needs to just keep going. Um, 
but yeah, I mean that's a great great track. Raven's Flight, the verse, the first single that they released is another another solid one. It's it's not uh, like I do think it's good. And it's very heavy, especially my favorite part is after the first chorus, the guitar riff just comes back in. That da dun da da dun da da dun da da da. You know it, that is a very crushing riff. Great production that very much pops out there. Um, it's a good tr- it's a good song. Don't get me wrong, but uh, there's just some other ones that I very much. Enjoy a lot more on there. Uh, the Berserker at Stanford Bridge, I think, is cool because it's a slower track. It's a little bit more atmospheric. It reminds me of uh, The Last Stand of Frey from uh, Surter Rising. I like when Amon Mark does some slower st- slower stuff, and I, 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 I think that they should do a lot more of it. Uh, when Once Again We Can Set Our Sails has a very, a little bit more just fun, kind of almost rock and roll-like riff from Amon Marth. Uh, you know, very much throw your fucking horns up in the air sort of thing and then into the dark is the longest track on the album the closer a solid closer has a lot of different uh tempo changes throughout the whole thing and it's a good song and like i said i, I do really enjoy this album i, I just think there's some good amount of Mars songs on here if you don't like amount of Mars, don't waste your time because this does not reinvent the wheel for these guys it's another album uh that i think you know long time fans will probably very much enjoy um just because it's got got some solid songs on it. The whole thing isn't perfect, but it's it's just a damn good time to listen to. Amon Amart's always fun to listen to. They always put a smile on my face. They always get me pumped up when I listen to them. And uh, here's 12 new songs to listen to from these guys. Wait, this an 8.5 out of 10. Let me know what you think of Berserker from Amon Amart. Thanks for watching, listening. See you guys later.